don't know what happened, but Elder Catherine obviously was reading my notes. <laughs> um, it, you know, it, it was interesting as I was praying earlier today, there was only, I, I kept getting only one thing. And I thought, okay, well, that's not enough. <laughs> um, but as the Lord began to talk to me, then he said, there's a strategy that I'm releasing for relationships and families this month. Uh, and the first thing he said was that I'm uncovering hidden things in families and relationships. Um, and I thought, okay, that's important. And then he said, but I'm also going to release the keys to heal and restore those relationships. And then he said there is a new knitting in relationships and a bonding that's going to be occurring at a different level. So let me just release what the Lord said about that. Uh, and the Lord says that indeed I am going to be uncovering those things that have been bearing and hidden for generations. For the Lord says there have been things that have been blocking, things generationally that have been holding back. Uh, there have been wounds and scars uh, that as I've tried to release things to you have risen up and blocked and been a holding cell uh, for the blessings uh, and even the freedom that you've asked me for. So the Lord says that in this month, I am going into those places with pinpoint precision, and I'm going to begin to release those things that have been hidden. The Lord says there are going to be phone calls that are going to be coming and conversations that are going to, to, to suddenly tingle your ears and you're going to recognize things uh, that have been blockages. The Lord says, I'm opening some eyes, some things that have been in front all along, but uh, you, you've not been able to see because of a hidden area, a hidden blockage. The Lord says, I'm releasing you now to see what you need to see, to hear what you need to hear. And the Lord says that uh, don't be surprised if you hear from members of the family or from friendships uh, that go from years and even, uh, uh, you know, e even decades back uh, that you hear of by surprise. And the Lord says, be attentive to those conversations for in those things I will release keys that will unlock hidden areas. And the Lord says, as I drop keys into your spirit, I'm going to begin to show you how to release those things and let them go. And the Lord says, there are strategies for going into family roots and for going into generational issues that you've not been able to see in the past. You've done what you thought to do. You've done what you've been taught to do. But the Lord says, I'm bringing divine revelation and divine strategic implementation that will occur in this month and the Lord says as we come to the end of the month there will be a new freedom that you will feel and the Lord says don't be surprised uh, if you go through a period in this month where you feel lost uh, because the Lord says you have gotten so comfortable carrying the hidden things around, uh, bearing the hidden burdens uh, that uh, it has become a part of you and embedded in you. But the Lord says as I break those things off, uh, there will be a lightness, but there will also be a... a a, a, a sense of, uh, of you almost being lost uh, because the Lord says, I've got to reset you in some areas in your thinking. I've got to reset some emotional areas within you so that you can move forward. The Lord says, going through the eye of the needle in this month means releasing those burdens, taking off those things. And the Lord says, you and only you will fit through that needle. There's no old that you'll be able to carry into this new year. But the Lord says, as I break those things, as I release those things, I'm going to establish and set you into a new place and a new identity. And the Lord says that there's going to be a knitting of relationships. The Lord says there's been some good things, good relationships that you have had. But the Lord says, I'm taking you a level deeper. Uh, I'm taking you to a new place. And as these old things are pulled off, you're going to be able able to bond and connect uh, and even be established at a different level than you've ever been able to be established before. And the Lord says, yes, there are going to be some new ones that are coming into alignment in this month. 
Uh, and and you'll, you'll look back and you'll say, I don't know, we got together in our hearts just knit uh, quickly and as one. And the Lord says, I'm establishing those new relationships to position you and uh, equip you and to set you in place for the coming year that I'm moving you into. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So if you would stand, uh, we are going to, to declare and release some things and position ourselves for what God has promised us. Amen? All right. So if you'll repeat with me. I will, I will allow, God allow God to uncover, to uncover hidden, things hidden things in my life, in my, life, in my family's life, in my life and, in my and in my generations. And I choose, and I choose to release them, to release them into his hands. In this month, in this month. I, will I will allow God, allow God to, bring to bring healing and restoration, and restoration as, he as he releases keys unto me, unto me for, myself my for myself and my family. Now don't say the one if you, this if you don't mean it. But I choose... To open, up to open up to the new knitting, the new knitting in, the in the relationships that God brings to me. And I choose to allow him to, allow him to, cut, off those things to cut off those things that do not need to go forward, to go forward into the new that he has for me. Has for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. And next we have Elder Pat.